Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's understand about the broken view in Creo parametric. So let's get started. So sometime when you have a part which length is very high compared to its width or diameter and then when you create the drawing view, you get this kind of result. So here I have a shaft which length is very high compared to its diameter. So in such cases, to fit this drawing view to this drawing sheet, you need to change the sheet scale just like this. But even if you change the sheet scale, the diameter is still very small. So it will be always difficult to add all the details related to this drawing views. So in such cases, we use broken view to compensate the drawing view within the drawing sheet without changing the sheet scale. So the broken view break the drawing view in between and remove unnecessary portion to fit the drawing view within the sheet. But even though it breaks the drawing view in between, it will give the correct dimension. So let us create the broken view and understand the process. And for this, I will go for the new sheet, sheet 2. Here I will just add a general view, somewhere here. I will go for the front view. Now to create the broken view, I will just double click this drawing view. I will go for visual area. And from here, I will access the broken view. Once you go for broken view, click on plus and then you select the first breakpoint just like this, move it down, click it one more time. So this is the first break line. Same way, I will click somewhere here to add the second break line. So just click it here, apply it, say OK. Once you apply it, you can move it inside the drawing sheet. Now by default, it gives the straight result. So one more time, just double click it here. Once again, go for visual area. Drag it this side. And from here, you can change it from straight to S curve. You can even change it to heartbeat. Just like this. So I will select the S curve, apply it and I will say OK. And you got the broken view. Now you can go for projection view. Just place the projection view this side. Now you can add the dimension calling from the part or you can directly create it here. So from here till here it is 2000 so you are getting the correct value again from here till here this is 1800 so you can add all the details just like this now once you create the broken view you can still move it close to other piece so the dimension will not change it will remain as it is you can still move these views from this location to other locations. So this was the broken view in Creo parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and you can subscribe to this channel to support the channel and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.